Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. It is Sunday, August 11th. Um, I have my first official day of medical school tomorrow of the actual academic curriculum and let me tell you, I'm already freaking out. Just trying to do the best that I can to like prepare myself for tomorrow and this whole week because we do have an exam Friday. I typed up all the learning objectives or I like copied and pasted them into um, a, a file and now I'm going to go through the lectures and maybe start filling stuff in. Um, that's really all that I can do right now because I really don't know how else I'm supposed to do it. I presume that I'll figure it out as the week goes on. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna just figure this out. I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll let you know how my day's going. <laughs> First day of class, I made it here and um, just waiting for it to start. I'm very tired. There's technical difficulties. So, we just had our first like two lectures. It's like nine o'clock or so. Um, just about like the basics of like osteopathic medicine and the principles and stuff. Going back in for like our DNA lecture or something or other. I'm home. I'm gonna start studying. I just got a package though. Um, I ordered some stuff for the year, I guess. Let me show you. I know it's a little early, but I rather be looking at this along with my courses ahead of time and then I bought a medical equipment bag this one's really cheap on Amazon This is insane. <laughs> it seems like it's never ending. And I want to go to bed in an hour. I want to go to bed at nine. But I'm a sixth of a way of the way through. This is day one, you guys. Like this is hey y'all. Still day one guys, still here. I'm in my PJs now and I've also abandoned my chair as I'm like having back problems from sitting. It's 9.08. Bedtime is normally at 9 o'clock for me, but I'm probably going to stay up till 10, um, get seven hours of sleep and go to the gym in the morning. Um, just want to check in. It's going to be like the last of tonight and I'll see you guys in the morning and I'll let you know how I'm doing then. Y'all, I am a pack mule yet again. I, say. I don't like the pancake analogy mm -hmm. where you have to, like, every day you eat 10 pancakes and the next day, if you don't eat pancakes one day, you have 20 the next day. I don't like the pancakes analogy. You can't eat all the pancakes. I can eat 10 pancakes. Many pancakes. I'm stuffed. <laughs> We've been sitting for so long, so I'm stretching. I'm here with Ben. What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube world? Yo. We're in our uh, biochem lecture. It's day two. Uh, if I could give y'all pre meds one piece of advice take genetics, take biochem yes, in your undergrad. Do it. Do it. We'll Actually, that's not the biggest thing, but, but for today, that's, yeah. that's my piece of advice. For today. Going in for a fight. Oh, this is Claire. Let me see more of her. 
going in well. She's amazing. awesome. Human being. She is. Amazing human being. Uh, no, not a mess. Aww, how <laughs> sweet. We're like a family already. Home now. I made a pot of coffee. I'm going to get to studying. A lot to go over, um, including like the lectures from today, obviously, and yesterday. And then also we have, it's something called a flip lecture thing tomorrow so basically there's material that we need to learn ahead of time um for the lecture tomorrow so let's try and get this done before 10 o'clock i have five hours it's five o'clock now let's begin Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday, it's a new day. I didn't end last night's vlog or check in just because I was literally swamped. It was never ending. I didn't even like get through all of the material as thoroughly as I wanted to. It was pretty rough. I'm gonna go to class, so yes. Finished lecture one for today. Um, it was a lot of review for me, so I didn't pay attention that well. I was doing like Anki cards and stuff, but now on to the next one. We beat this. They got work done. Yeah. <laughs> there's like a ginormous line down the entire hallway because there's 200 and there's like 300 people, right? Because Pod. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so like 300 students are trying to get their bone boxes right now, so we were the first ones in and out super quick. Hey, everyone. I'm back home. Um, I've been studying for an hour and a half. Time flies like that. Like a second ago it was 3.30 and now it's 5. So I have one more lecture to review from today and then there's five lectures tomorrow and so I have a lot to go over um, before that. <laughs> Hey y'all, it is 10.22. I shockingly finished everything I needed to do for tomorrow. I mean, granted I didn't really understand a lot of it. Eek. I'm calling it a night. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning y'all. It is Thursday. Um, I ended up going to bed at like 11.30. I didn't go to the gym at 5.00. I slept in until 7, which was actually really nice, and then I just did like 25 minutes of cardio while I was studying on the treadmill, like reviewing everything. Hey everyone, just came to check in really quick. Um, we had class, and then I went home. There is one more lecture that's happening today. It was a lecture that I already you know have a good idea on because it's biochemistry so I didn't want to waste time sitting in things that I'm familiar with when I could be using that time wiser to go over things that I'm unfamiliar with and prepare for the exam tomorrow so um, this is what I'm doing so we have like 19 lectures or something so I took a screenshot of our sched lecture schedule and I'm just gonna you know cross out things that I went over and that I'm fine with and I can move forward. I just started the review. I will check in with you guys later and let you know how I'm doing. And that's about it. Wish me luck. Waiting for the ball to come. They're constantly moving, ready to go. And that gives you there, they can rapidly disassemble and then reassemble at a new site to take advantage of the fact that they need to go over there or something. I forget this dynamic nature of the structures. 6.52. I have two more lectures to go. Well, kind of like one and a half. Um, and then I'm finished. These last two I left are the hardest ones, so it's gonna take me a little bit. But um, I think I'm gonna get to bed by 10 o'clock, which is really nice. Uh, Huntington disease affected by expansion of CAG disease on chromosome 4 and is an autosomal dominant disease. CAG is a codon that codes for gluten. So when you have multiple CAGs, you will have multiple glutamine in that protein, so that is known as monotropic factor promoter, known as NRSE. This is neuron restrictive silencer element. When Huntington protein is normal, almost have survived my first week of medical school. We have a test. I'm feeling confident. <gasps> Yay! We have our first exam! We 
I will. So the first part was in a group. You want to be in it? Yeah. How do you? Can you show I'm on your robe? So she wears this robe during class because it's so cold in there. So she's like a complete mood with her like long wizard robe, and uh, yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, it went well, right? Yeah, it went good. So we had like individual exams, and then we got into a group, and then went over the exam again. And here's Claire. <laughs> So I did survive my first week of medical school. I'm so happy. I feel so good. I'm home. I got to go to the gym and actually lift some weights since I've only been doing cardio this week. Um, so I'm happy. This was uh, actually I'm going to just set you guys down. Let's get real real quick. It's interesting how much I evolved over just the course of a few days. Monday, I had no idea how I was going to start studying, how, you know, what my routine was going to be. And even my sleeping schedule, you know, I was like, I have to get to bed at nine. The lectures that you could watch after class on Monday when I watched them, I could not watch them at a faster speed because I just couldn't understand it. By last night, just four days passed and my sleeping schedule has changed. I'm not getting to bed at nine o'clock and that's not even really a goal for me anymore at this point. I've already abandoned the idea that nine o'clock is a feasible bedtime just because I've been able to go to bed at 10, 10 30 at the latest and I'm still able to get up at five and function relatively well like go to the gym and do those do that sort of things. The lecture speeds it's hilarious on Monday I could not even do like 1.4 when I was watching the lectures back I had to keep it at just the regular speed but by last night, I'm like laying on the floor stretching and I have it going on two times the speed. And as you guys saw in the video, like some of the lecturers were talking really fast, right? But it's just because I sped up the the clip. So um, just because I want to save time and be efficient and I definitely could probably listen at a higher speed. So I'm going to download this external app thing where I can actually speed it up to be faster than two times the speed. To see yourself make it to the next day or to overcome like a hard week or an obstacle like studying for an exam and to be okay, it's, it's cool. Like it makes all the work and the time you put in worth it. Like I've forgotten about how crappy I felt during the week and sitting here in this chair and stuff and I feel so happy. So that was the first week of medical school. I hope this helps any of you in the slightest bit. Please leave any of your feedback down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. We are almost to a thousand subscribers and I'm so happy. So um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!